Hey Tribe, welcome to another episode of Bunks, Babies and Boobs product review. Today I am going to be demonstrating how to use and reviewing the Spectra S Gold or Synergy Gold breast pump. on social media, on Instagram or Facebook, you know that the Synergy Gold has been my go-to breast pump during my breastfeeding journey with baby Gregor, who's now a year old. Now, it is a pump that I always turn to anytime I'm under um, unnecessary stress, I'm sick, I'm a little under the weather, um, anything that would cause my output um, to decrease, my breast milk output to decrease, then I know I want to go with the Synergy Gold because it has consistently been the pump that gives me the most amount of milk and in the shortest period, um, time period possible. So it is both very effective and extremely efficient. Today I'm going to tell you all the things that I love about the S Gold as well as the things that I don't really care about. If you remember, I don't have any affiliate agreements, so everything I'm going to say here is truly my unbiased opinion of the Spectra S Gold breast pump. Before I show you how to use it, I'm actually gonna do a live pumping session. I want to show you all the different parts that come with the Spectra, as well as all the different features and buttons on the Spectra pump. I wanna show you all the different parts that come with this um, Spectra pump and how to set them up. This is what it will look like once everything is all set up and you're ready to pump, but these are the individual pieces. This is probably one of the most important pieces that a lot of people, when they come in for um, a lactation consult in the Perfect Wish Clinic, this is one of the things that most people forget. This is what we call the duct fill. And this is what's gonna allow you to create a good vacuum. It has a slit right at the bottom of the opening. You wanna always make sure you check these before you put them on your pump to make sure that the slit hasn't extended past what it came with or it doesn't have a little tear because if it does, you're not gonna get maximum suction. And a lot of people say to me, I just don't get it, my pump is not working. And I'm like, have you checked your duct bill? These you need to replace every month to every three months, depending on how often you pump. If you're an everyday, all day pumper, you're probably gonna to wanna to replace these monthly. But if you're an occasional pumper like me, then you can go ahead and replace these every two to three months. But as always, just always check the integrity of the duct bill before you use it. Okay, so that's your duct bill. This is your flange piece. Spectra has one complete um, flange piece. This can make it a challenge sometimes getting it into a breastfeeding bra, but a lot of the breastfeeding, um, pumping bra, sorry, a lot of the pumping bras now expand enough to allow you to put the flange in, even though it is one piece. I'm gonna be using 24 millimeter flange, as you can see here, um, to pump. And then you've got your backflow protector. It comes in three pieces. This is going to be your backflow protector. This is what is going to prevent milk from coming into your tubing. Putting this on, how you put this on is also really important. I've got some lint on here. So you've got the smaller part of your protector, right? The smaller disc. This is where you're going to want to slide your little rubbery disc over first. And you will actually hear it snap into place. You want to make sure you've got it all the way around nice and snug. Once you've done that, then you want to take the bigger piece, the bigger back little protector, and then you are going to just cup it in there. If you do it the other way around, it does not hold. It doesn't stay on. You also want to be very careful. Always check. See, now it's on really tight. Uh, this wrist. Okay. You also want to make sure that you check the integrity of your back little protector. Make sure that it doesn't have any holes in it, any slits in it. So be careful when you're washing and sterilizing these. If you're using a bottle sterilizer, I use Baby Brezza. Make sure you put it on the top and not the bottom where it gets super, super hot. Right, so let's go ahead and put, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you do it the other way around, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you put it in the big um, backflow protector first and you try and put the small one on, it never quite fits right. So what you wanna do one more time Right, go ahead and slide it onto that small back foot protector. Here we go. Slide it onto the small disc. Take the big one, put it together, and presto, here we go. Your duck bill is going to go right inside your flange. So right in here. You also want to make sure, okay, that it is in there really nice and snug. And then you're going to screw this on your bottle. The Spectra Gold bottles have Spectra written in gold. The S1 and S2 have them in pink. Okay. 
And then once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and attach your backflow protector to your flange and it can only go on one way. So this is pretty easy. I love that Spectre did that. It makes it pretty simple to put on. Be careful with these. A lot of times this will actually break off. So you do want to put it on there nice and snug, but be careful. I have had a couple of these break, especially when I use the S1. It would just break off right there and then you have to replace them. Spectre does have replacement pump kits um, that come with tubing and everything else. So that is how you put it together. And once we've got both of these ready to go, we are ready to pump. All right, so this is what the pump looks like up close. Over here, you've got a little rubber flap that protects where you put your, um, your pump tubing in. So this is the way the ports for the pump tubing is. I have to give it to Spectra. One of the things that I absolutely hated about the S1 and S2 was how they had the tubing as just rubber ends, just blunt cut. And so trying to put them into the pump was such a pain in the butt. But with the S1, with this S Gold, they went ahead and they gave us these little plastic adapters that allow you to really just easily slot them into the pump ports right here. And then the tubing goes to your flanges. Okay, so over here, you've got vacuum settings for both sides, left and right. Remember, as I was saying, this pump is a dual motor pump, meaning that it has two motors, both of which can get up to 270 milligrams of mercury when it comes to the suction or vacuum strength. So that is amazing. And what we would consider hospital grade, right? So you've got a hospital grade pump with the dual motors. Um, you turn it on and off right here. When you turn it on, it has this beautiful little chime sound to it. First thing that I don't care for when it comes to the S Gold is the fact that you have to plug it in. It is such a beautifully fancy pump. I swear, I can't, I've lost count of how many times I get all ready, ready, I'm all set up, ready to go, and then I realize that I didn't plug it in, right? Because it just doesn't seem like a pump that would need to be plugged in. But in order for them to put in a battery, a rechargeable battery, it would make it significantly more heavy more heavier than it is right now, and it's just a little over four pounds. So I don't think anyone wants it to be much heavier than that. You've so, got your vacuum on either side, left and right, and then you've got your cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and if I push left, that will turn on the left side, the right side is still off, so I can pump just one side. And then on the other side, without having to close the port, so I don't even have to close this port, because remember, it's got two separate motors, they work completely independent of each other. So let's put that back there. And then if I turn on the right, you can see here that when I last pumped, I had a vacuum of three and on the left and a vacuum of four on the right. My cycle was up to five. Now you can program the vacuum on either side to be independent of each other, but you cannot program the cycle independently. It will be the same cycle for both sides, but you can change the vacuum strength on either side or you can pump one side at a time, whatever suits your fancy, whatever you need to do at the time. Um, again, you adjust your cycle by pushing the button in the middle. And then over here, we've got your wave button. This is where you are going to maneuver between massage mode and expression mode. Now, you know, we always want you guys to start in the massage mode, which is that fast little flutter set that babies do to stimulate a letdown. And if you pay attention, you can hear that it's much faster. What I do love about Spectra on the S Gold is that they went ahead and gave you options for how many times it is actually going to cycle in the massage mode. You do not have this on your S1 and your S2. On S1 and S2, it's only going to go 70 cycles um, per minute. That is it. You cannot change that. But on your S Gold, you do have the option to change how many times it cycles in a minute in massage mode. Once you're noticing your milk is starting to flow, then you're going to hit the wave button again, and then it is going to take you into expression mode, right? And you can adjust the cycle in your expression mode if you want it to go a little bit faster, or you can bring it down if you want it to go a little bit slower. And you can toggle back and forth during the pumping, depending on what your milk flow is doing. If you want to stimulate a letdown, if you think that it's slowed down, you can go easily go right back into the massage mode. You will notice when it's in massage mode, it has a wave-like pattern. And then when it's in expression mode, it has little drops on the right side. All right, so let's get to pumping. So make sure you've got clean hands before you start pumping. I always pump using, this is the cake maternity bra. So I'm going to show you 
how I'm going to jerry rig my bra, my breastfeeding bra, into a pumping bra. Um, cake is one of my favorite bras, y'all. Okay. So you want to make sure when you put the flange that you center your nipple right in the middle. I am going to be talking about um, measuring your nipple and making sure you've got the right nipple size in a later video. So make sure you guys hit that su subscribe button and hit the alert bell so that you know when I've got a new video. Okay. So you want to make sure everything is centered. And then you saw I just clipped it back up. And then there we go. Pump bra turned, breastfeeding bra turned into a pump bra. Right? We're going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going to be a little bit trickier because my wrist. Okay, so nice and uh, in the middle. Same thing. Cut across here. And then I'm just going to hook it back up. Make sure that it is centered. There we go. Okay, make sure that it is nice and centered. And then I'm gonna put my tubing on. And then we'll be ready to pump. Now we're all set up, we're gonna turn our pump on. I'm going to recheck, just make sure my nipples are nice and centered. You wanna make sure that you don't have any friction or your nipple rubbing against the flange because that is what ends up leading to pain and nipple trauma. So you do wanna make sure you've got good fitting flanges. I've got rather stretchy nipples and you'll see um, when I pump what that looks like. So I'm going to turn my pump on. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see this because of the light. So I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to push left to turn the left side on and it started in the expression mode because that is where I left it. It does remember your settings. If you see here, the left side, I'm going to put this down because it's heavy. Left side is starting to come. Okay. Got my milk starting to come out in my expression mode. Nothing going on on my right. Okay, everything is hooked up, but because I haven't turned it on, remember it has two separate motors, both of which are able to achieve up to 270 milliliters of mercury when it comes to the suction of vacuum strength. Okay, I'm going to turn on the right side. Right now, my cycle is just on a one. Go back a little bit. Let's move this table up. There we go. Now move the pump this way so we can see. Perfect. Okay, so right now my cycle's on a one. I'm gonna make it go just a little bit faster. There we go. Never hesitate to adjust your flanges as you're pumping. You wanna make sure that that nipple is nice and centered, that you're not getting any extra friction or that it's not uncomfortable. If you figure out that your setting, your cycle setting is too high, bring it down. If you need to bring down your vacuum, bring it down. Don't be uncomfortable. You shouldn't be in pain when you're pumping. That's what leads to nipple trauma and nipple pain. So I'm on a three. I'm going to bump that up. I want to show you it goes up to a five for your vacuum in the massage mode. Now I'm up at five. I'm not telling y'all to be up at five. These are three time over breastfeeding boobs. I've been using this pump for a year. I am used to it. When I first turned on my Spectra S Gold, I remember being like, oh, I remember with, with Tana, I was up to maximum settings. I turned it on to the maximum settings and I felt like my nipples were gonna be ripped off. So it is important for you to start where you feel most comfortable, start low and you can work your way up. Okay. So I've got milk coming out on my left side, which is my producer boob. And then my right side is slowly starting to show up. I've been here for about two minutes and 27 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the wave button and I'm going to switch to the expression mode. Y'all see that? Okay, got my lid down, my milk is flowing, perfect. All right, so vacuum of nine on the left side and a vacuum of four on the right side. I'm gonna bring that right side up. Okay, let's bring it up to meet the left. Okay. 
I'm always talking to you guys about active nursing, so using compressions and massage, really important. And you can actually see the difference it's making. So this is just regular pumping. Okay, turn this to the side, this tubing is in the way. Okay, so this is just regular pumping and look at massage, look at that. This is what it's looking like on its own, but add a little bit of compression. Right, all the way around, including the under boob. And I can do the same on the other side. Yeah. Normally I would be compressing with both my hands, but again, I've got a little bit of a we going on on this left wrist so I am not going to be using both hands but make sure you're using compression you can use a breast massager um, you can apply heat before you start pumping you can apply heat while you're pumping heat with a massager so many cool trip, um, tips and tricks that you guys can use to really increase and encourage that milk flow The pump goes all the way up to a level 15. And that's what that looks like. Now, it is important for you to note, I put it up on a 15, but I'm not necessarily getting milk coming out any faster or any more milk. So more isn't always better. You wanna make sure that you play with the pump and find the most comfortable setting for you, for both your cycle and your vacuum. Find something that works. You can always play with it. Sometimes, um, like Gregory right now is in his biting phase, so I'm not always able to pump um, using strong or high vacuum settings. Play with it, find something that is most comfortable for you. The most important thing is you do not wanna be in pain while you're pumping. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave it at a vacuum of nine on the left, a vacuum of 10 on the right. I have my cycle at a three, that feels really nice and comfortable to me. And I'm just gonna look, go ahead and let it do its thing. Slow down a little bit, so let's go ahead and hit that massage button again. Let's see if we can stimulate another letdown. In the meantime, I will tell you the things that, the other things that I don't care for when it comes to the S Gold. The second thing, the first thing that I told you that I didn't care for was the fact that you do have to plug it in. The second thing is the backlight. So it has a light, I'm gonna spin it around, but it is on the back of the pump, right? You probably didn't even notice that it was on, granted it is daytime, but I just don't get it. I don't know why they put it under in the handle on the back of the pump. It really doesn't do anything for me, even at night, especially because when the Spectra, and I'll unplug it so you can see, when it's unplugged, right, there's nothing going on at all. You don't get any lights on the front, even though it does have a backlight. Once you turn it on, it does have a little bit of a glow, but again, it, there's not enough light for them to have put the um, the light on the back of the pump. It does have three different settings that lets you um, that lets you set how bright you want it to be. But again, just the location of it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, so I'm gonna turn my pump back on. I'm gonna hit left and right. It's gonna remember the settings that I had before. Would have remembered the settings that I had. I just adjusted it to put it back. Um, but I unplugged it. I didn't turn it off. So make sure you turn off your pump so that it can store this your last settings instead of unplugging it. But when you do turn it on, when you turn it on, just remember if you were starting at a vacuum of nine, uh, nine or 10, which is what I'm on, when you turn it on the very first time, it is going to suck that hard. And you generally want to work your way up when you start a pumping session. Start a little bit low, get your nipples used to the tug, and then you can start working your vacuum settings up. So be careful with that when you turn your pump on. So don't just unplug it, make sure you turn it off so that it can memorize your settings and you'll have them in there. But when you do turn it on, be sure to make adjustments so that it doesn't yank your nipples up when you turn it on. Okay, so we talked about, I don't like the fact that you have to plug it in. I don't like the fact that it has a backlight with the location of the backlight. The third thing is the cost. So this pump retails at about $325. You can get it right now on sale for about $260. If you just search Spectra S Gold, I think Bye Bye Baby has it on sale. Um, Amazon has it on sale. 
but in general, it is a bit more pricey. Insurance companies, some insurance companies, if you have really good coverage, will cover the, um, the pump 100%, but most will require an upgrade fee of about $100 or so. So that's pretty steep. Um, it, sometimes it's cheaper for you to buy the pump for yourself and then send it into your insurance company for reimbursement. But before you do that, make sure that your insurance company will allow it. So don't just do it because Ruda Buba said do it. Make sure you call into your insurance company and say, hey, if I buy my pump, what is my allowance for reimbursement? A lot of times you will actually pay a lot less buying the pump for yourself and then getting reimbursed than you would going through a DME because they are gonna charge you an upgrade fee um, sometimes a hundred or more dollars and um, on top of what insurance is going to pay them. So just double check and look into that. So those are the three things that I don't care for much when it comes to the Escort. Other than that, I love this pump. I really feel that Spectra took everything that we didn't like or everything that we didn't care for about the S1 and the S2 and they just jam-packed an absolutely gorgeous looking pump. The S1 and S2 was so basic. The interface used to get on my nerves because I just felt that it wasn't, there wasn't much to it. And when you look at like the Motif and the Unimom, those were pumps that were really giving the user, that were really, that really elevated the user experience. And I feel that with the S Gold, Spectra did just that. They give us buttons that are really easy to use and to understand. I love the fact that it is just simple touch screen. I will warn you, it is very sensitive. See? So you want to be careful when you're touching the pump because you'll mess around and you will turn it off. Okay? So you want to be really careful. I am on. I went ahead and put it on um, massage mode by mistake. So be careful when you're touching it. You don't want to accidentally turn it off or turn it from massage mode into expression mode if that's not what you wanted to do or bump up the vacuum or the cycle and have your nipples yanked. So be careful with it. It is a very powerful pump. It does have two motors. So you are not compromising the vacuum strength when you are double pumping. You're not sharing anything. So you have the full strength of each motor on each side. So be careful. You might be able to set your Spectra S1 or S2 at a 10 and that works for you, but this might actually translate to like a a six or a seven on the S gold. Again, because you've got the full force and the full strength, the full vacuum strength um, of a motor, of a single motor on each side. So you definitely wanna go slow, start slow, start steady. When I first started using this, y'all, I swear I was on a vacuum of one, of one. Now granted, Gregory had a tongue tie, my nipples were super raw, but it took a really long time for me to work my way up. So be gentle with yourself, be careful, you do not wanna cause damage. This is a very strong pump. Um, but I think in general, that is it. That is the Spectra S Gold. What questions do you have for me? Um, I turned it on and off, so I don't know the total time that I've been pumping. I will check before I post the video and see if I can calculate it and put it up for you guys. Um, it looks like I have just a little over two ounces on this side. Gray Gray had fed off this side. So I have, uh about just under two ounces on the left side so again i am starting my holiday my vacation stash for gray gray so that he has milk while i'm gone we are at 11 almost 13 months now of breastfeeding so my milk output isn't what it used to be now if you followed me you know i could fill up these tubes in five minutes but my milk output is definitely a lot lower than it used to be now because he's not breastfeeding as often but i do want to make sure that i have a good stash for him when i travel okay Again, ask me any questions that you have on the Spectra S Gold down in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the alert bell so that you know when I've got new videos coming up. I'm going to spend the next the rest of the month reviewing breast pumps as I get ready to go on my Bahamas trip. Um, it's been real. I'm Ru the Boo Boss. Thank you so much for watching.